Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole and welcome back to Arise in Glory. So today I am kind of going to just um, give you dreams, songs, scripture, and life events that have been going on and a message that God has given to me to give to you today. And there's a, probably a few messages that you're going to be able to pick up and the things that I say today but this is just how he has been teaching me and showing me and I in all honesty that's really y'all I'm kind of just coming on here and I'm telling you what God's been telling me okay uh, in a different version of it but yeah I'm kind of just coming on here to tell you what God's been telling me and how he's been leading me in my life and what he's been imparting in me as far as wisdom so Last night, God did give me some dreams for you guys, and I'm going to share them. <laughs> but um, I was woke up this morning, and Holy Spirit and me were like talking about the dreams. And I said, Holy Spirit, I'm excited. Good things are coming. But is there anything else that y'all want to tell us about right now? Like, is there anything else you have for me to tell them about right now? Because, like, I'm looking for like a serious subject. Like, I'm, I'm telling the Holy Spirit, I'm looking for like a serious subject. Are you going to give me like a serious subject? Like, how do we manage what you're giving us? Like, I'm a planner. If you've been here, I told you, I'm a planner. I like to plan things. I'm one of those very thorough, where are we going, Holy Spirit? And y'all, it ain't been working. <laughs> I just got to go where God tells me to go, okay? And trust what his leading is and that's what i've been learning in this season but i still got that planner in me right so i want holy spirits like y'all need to tell me something about where i'm going and how i need to prepare right how should they prepare for where we're going so um i'm gonna tell you the dreams last night and i'm gonna tell you that god put something on my heart throughout yesterday and today actually on preparation okay so last night i started hearing Turn on the lights in here, baby. Extra bright, I want you to see this. So God refers to us as his stars. With me at least, he refers to us as the light. Stars, right? And so God has been telling me when he gives me that song, I know he's talking about his children, his stars, and how he's about to turn on them. It's basically, we are about to shine in this time, right? So then I go into um, dreams. I see what else. He says, there's a dream basically he gave me last night. And it was about a young lady. And this was somebody that I knew in the past. And I hadn't seen this person in like forever. And they were on TV. And it was like a reality type show. It was showing her setting up some things. A business. A certain type of business. And I was watching the show and I was like happy for her. And I said, I wonder how she did that. But not in a jealous way. Like in a... I wonder how she did it because I got some things to do too like I wonder how she did that right and so when I woke up and I wrote this dream down Holy Spirit was telling me that's how it's going to be your enemies will say how did she do that okay and after I wrote that down I started hearing <laughs> got a lot of got a lot of got a lot of to say got a lot of got a lot of got a lot of to say so I don't know if you heard that so I think it's like Maybe it's the 80s, the 90s, okay? But it's some type of... Yeah, you know, that's like a little forest right there. It's some type of, um, like, rap song, okay? And it say, like, got a lot of, got a lot of, got a lot of to say. So basically, y'all, they're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of to say about what they're going to be seeing God do in your life. And God has made it very clear that they're going to see you but not be able to touch you. They're going to see you but not have access to you. And the way I was seeing this person... I could see what God was doing in their life, but I couldn't access them. I couldn't touch them. There was no connection to this person, right? And that's what he was saying. In the future, that's how it's going to be. A lot of them going to see you. They're going to see you on TV. They're going to see you on Instagram. They're gonna see, they ain't going to have no connection to you whatsoever. And they're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of the sight, okay? So, last night I was talking about that. Talking about blessings. The blessings that are coming to his children. Um... There was one dream where uh, he had me in a place and I was dressed at my like how I normally dress y'all I, I really I dress very like I dress like a mom like a mom that just keeps it real basic okay I, I wear like tennis shoes jeans and a shirt plain shirt that's pretty much my uniform okay 
and I had went into this place and it was more upscale and other people were dressed up and I was asking this lady about a program concerning my son and she basically did not respond to me in an appropriate way because of how I looked I looked basic okay I look like basic mom okay and she didn't respond to me but God when I walked out of there I started hearing Kanye West wait till I get my money right then they can't tell me nothing right so God already let me know elevation is coming to his children I've told you guys before in the past like he's talked about the Beverly Hills you know it's sad but that's the world we live in money does talk in the world that we live in and part of our elevation is financial blessings and it's going to be able to put us in places that normally people would assume that we don't belong in but we do and the money will talk so God was talking about that last night so the next thing God put on my heart to talk to you guys about is a friend of mine, um, Bernice, she, I've shared her channel here, I'll probably share it again because God has a lot for her to do in this season, but she's also a prophetess and God showed her some things regarding me and my future. And it's some things I had not shared with anybody which I had brought to God in prayer and just really spoke to the Holy Spirit about. And um, she just came out and told me things that God had showed her in this vision regarding my future. And I was like, okay, it confirmed. And I took it to God and I started thinking about it. And one day I was, yesterday I was driving and it hit me. Acceleration, okay. Change, new life, restoration, revival of life like he was talking about yesterday. You guys, all of this is change. So God's been telling me this. He's been telling me Luke 12 48 for the last few days and it says to whom much is given much will be required so you guys another thing God has been telling me is this song by Marcus Rogers what is it God um um burn it away anything that's not like you I wanna be made new I found myself singing it and I was like that's how I was because <laughs> you listen to that song, okay? Burning away, anything that's not like you, I wanna be made new. Yes, I do, but y'all, we just came through the fire, okay? We just came through the fire. We just came through him burning some things off. You talking about burning some more stuff off? And God's like, yes, to much is given, much is required. New season, elevation, new, you're gonna be facing new demons, basically. You're gonna be facing new challenges. It's time to go up to a new level, elevation, okay? It's a good elevation, but it's also a challenging elevation in this season. So, I started thinking about, God put it on my heart, the vision that she gave me, and she told me about what I've been praying for, and she saw it, not knowing that's what I'm praying for. And I started thinking, in order to become that person that she saw, that's gonna require work. It's gonna require a new mindset, a new mind, okay? It's, it's gonna require elevation. It's gonna require me to elevate. And in this season, God is telling us it's time to elevate. Wherever you're at now, God has already put in you who you are. Your identity is already in you it was in you when he formed you in your mother's womb before he even put you in there your identity was already in there and in this season many of you god is going to he's been showing you who you are but you're going to become who he's been showing you that you are and it's going to require change it's going to be required change of you and some elevation and basically some what is the right word it's not change or elevation, but it's, that's it too. It's another word I'm looking for, you guys. Um, consistency. It's going to require consistency. In the past, you've tried and you haven't been consistent. Sorry to kill these little bugs. In the past, you tried and you have not been consistent, but you tried on your own strength. Me and my friend Bernice were talking yesterday, and one thing we were talking about is something we want to accomplish and how... We need to put the Holy Spirit in it. So, even in the smallest things, if you want to lose weight, let's say, you need to put the Holy Spirit in it. You need to go consult God about it. 
and put the Holy Spirit in it. God is trying to be involved in every area of your life. Every area of your life that you've fallen weak in, He's strong in. And He wants to make you stronger in it. But you have to completely and totally lean on Him in this season and period. Going forward, you have to completely and totally lean on Him for everything, you guys. Not just one thing, okay? So, God was showing me elevation mentally. A new level, a new devil. Letting go of the world, okay? Um, you have to let go of the past in order to enter into a new life. He wants us to disconnect from the past. And that's going to be a hard thing in a way. It's going to be a process. Just know all of this is a process of growing and renewal, okay? It's shedding away things from the past. It's a process, y'all. Um, so, what else? God's been telling me that we got to exchange our feelings for faith. Doesn't matter how you feel. Faith is believing in what you can't see. It's believing in what God has shown you, but when you open your eyes and you look around, you don't see it. But faith is seeing it even when you don't see it before you. It's being, what's the word I just used, y'all? Why I keep losing that word? You're being continuous. <laughs> you're not giving up. You know what I'm trying to say. You're, just, you're not giving up. Even when you don't see it, you're not giving up, okay? Um, so, what else God did to me? I think that is all for y'all today. I hope that y'all know. <laughs> I declare and decree that you are having a blessed day. That your day today is better than yesterday. And every day is better than the day before. You're walking in victory. Oh, y'all went to church today. That's what I tell y'all about. It's getting loud out here though. Man, I went to church today. God has been showing me this church. I've been passing it to go to the pharmacy. And God's been showing me this church since I've been staying here at my family's house. And I have not gone. And this morning, God had it on my heart to go to church. But the church I've been going to, it's a good church. But it's like 35 minutes away. Everything in Georgia seems like so far. You got to dr drive so far. I'm a country girl. Church was 5 to 10 minutes down the road back home. Okay? Like, I don't like all this driving. So God reminded me of that church where I was laying in bed this morning. And he told me to go check it out. So I laid in bed, I picked up my phone, and um, I looked the church up, right? And they have a YouTube. And when I looked up the YouTube, this is what they have as their like title or their little introduction. It says, Revival Born, Relationship Driven, Where the Spirit of the Lord Is. I said, Revival Born? Okay, that's a that's a that's a high claim. Um, relationship driven. Oh, y'all in relationship with Jesus. <laughs> y'all not oh y'all not in the religions. Okay, y'all you and Jesus kick it. Okay, I think <laughs> sound like it might might be. But what she said, they said the spirit of the Lord is basically that spirit, the spirit of the Lord is here. Okay? I said, okay, God, I'm gonna see about that. Y'all, I walked in this church. I felt the Holy Spirit straight up when I walked in the church. Holy Spirit told me there's no compromise here. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. I'm going to be straight. I'm going to name a name. Okay? Normally, I don't do this. When I first got here to Georgia, I went to Ryan Lestrange Church. Uh, I think I'm saying his name right. He's a prophet. And I'm not saying nothing bad about him. But there's a spirit of compromise in that church. And when, you don't have to be a prophet to see it. Go to, if you go to that church, when you enter... There's a spirit of compromise. You're being there's homosexuality in that church, and um, when I walked in this church, the Holy Spirit told me there's no spirit of compromise here. Straight up, He told me that. I sat down. They were worshiping. The first lady, I didn't know she was the first lady at first. I could tell she was a prophetess because she started prophesying in her singing. She was singing and prophesying. Y'all, she just started like free, free flowing, prophesying and her singing. Y'all, this woman starts saying, it's about to go down. Like, everybody in church was like, it's about to go down, okay? And you could tell when people, like, when it ain't real, y'all, it was real. They had the flags in the back. At some point in time, people start running around the church. And I know this might be a bit too much for some of y'all, but for me, I know where I come from. 
and they had the flags and they had the people running girl y'all i was so excited i was like this is my environment in fact it was so hype it was a little bit more than me i could handle which let me know i gotta grow into this then the pastor come up y'all every like it was like parts of the words that i've been but delivering to y'all they was dropping it in their sermon victory was a word they continuously to drop in the sermon victory was something they continuously to claim furthermore they was talking about they the remnant i don't know if you know but honey before i came on this channel my last channel all god talked about on my last channel pretty much was the end times which this is still a continuation of the end times even though we're not talking about it if you didn't know we are in the end times this is all a preparation for the end times this wealth transfer preparation for the end times heaven coming down to earth his children getting the funds to do what they got to do i'm on a mission personally okay and so many of you who are receiving these funds we are on a mission for god that's how my mind frame is because all i want to hear when i get to heaven is job well done daughter job well done and many of you you love the lord too and that's all you want to hear when you get to heaven but y'all all they continuously said in this message basically victory victory claiming victory singing victory victory y'all this is a time of victory if you didn't know now you know it's a time of victory pick your head up it's time to walk and we're walking in victory it was a set it was a fight that was set up already you, you won before you even started I'll talk to y'all later. I just went on a, on a, a bit of a tangent. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.